Our me hearties, ahoy and welcome. Tis I, Captain Facebeard, back reacting to more awesome music with Heather. Hey. If in this be your first voyage with us, subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss out on none of the good stuff. Helping us keep the boat afloat just got easier than ever. We now have a link on buymeacoffee.com forward slash Facebeard. You can find playlists for these and other bands in the description. The next song, if you know what it is, uh, it's not going to come as a surprise to us. We've already heard it. We're big Tim Minchin fans. But recently there's been a video come out of Tim Minchin doing his song Prejudice, but for some fucking reason, and I love this fucking reason, Ed Sheeran is with him. <laughs> this is like, I great. need to see, I need to see this. This is something that hap needs to happen for me. Oh, yeah. And if you haven't heard this song, <laughs> you're in for a real treat. A so real, let's, let's real just treat. Get, let's get a, get a quick idea from anybody that's uh, in chat with us right now. So <laughs> I, I'm excited to see this because it's... If yeah. You, so does anybody know this song? Does anybody know Tim Minchin, first of all? And if you do, have you heard Pre Prejudice? And if you don't know Tim Minchin, I yeah. do re recommend the Pope song as well. And yeah. Uh, so Tim Minchin is a, a musical comedian. Um, he was also actually in um, Jesus Christ Superstar and played Judas. He's a well-known atheist, um, but uh, he's Australian as well. And he, uh, this song here is a song that'll throw you for a loop. Uh, what's going to happen, you're not going to expect. He does know this. Okay, this, this is going to be great. Be beautiful. You're going to love this. He's Australian, and he's silly, as you can see. But he's really good. This is a song about prejudice. You can tell the crowd knows. Hey. <laughs> it's about language, the power of language. The power of the language of prejudice. It's called Prejudice. Prejudice. <laughs> so awkward. Yes. In our modern free spoken society, there is a word that we still hold taboo. taboo. A word with a terrible history is of being used to abuse, oppress, and subdue. Just six seemingly harmless letters arranged in a way that will fall. Later, three keys. Have a great weekend. Pieces of metal that are forged to make swords. swords. A couple of G's, an R and an E, an I and an N. <laughs> he looks so nervous. Of course, damage that we may never mend. And it's important that we all respect that these people should happen to choose to reclaim the word as their own. It doesn't mean the rest of you have a right to its use. No, nope. to never underestimate the power the language imparts. They break up. I love this line though. The words can break hearts. A couple of G's, G's, unless you have to live it. And R and an E, even I am careful with it. And I and an N, in the end, it will only offend. Don't want to have to spell it out again. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Ed Sheeran. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, where are we going with this? I hate that I already know this. Oh, yeah, I wish I didn't. Yeah. This is going to be amazing. This is going to be incredible. <laughs> and I literally forgot to this moment that he that Ed Sheeran was also a ginger. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Perfect.
Which is wrong because I had the biggest crush on the, on the redhead in junior high. <laughs> That time of music does hit pretty hard, yeah. Jazz he's exploration. He's an amazing pianist. Oh god, yeah. So good. He's actually a really good singer. I like his voice. His songs are hilarious. Smart. song ever. <laughs> that was great. Uh, uh, I saw that and I, I thought of you. Uh, I thought of you and I was like, I was like, uh, totally gotta, gotta make Heather watch that because he's got Ed Sheeran with him and they're both gingers. I totally forgot Ed Sheeran was a ginger to like this moment. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know, if I were a ginger, I'd rather be called ginger by someone than tampon, I think. Yeah. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'd rather, I would prefer, I would prefer most 100% uh, fire truck over blood nut. <laughs> Although actually, wait, no. Blood nut's no. kind of interesting, actually. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, it was a it great way to end. It reminds me of that, of that, of that video, I Ejaculate Fire. Oh, yes, I remember that. It's a video. wonderful, beautiful, beautiful song, if you've never heard it. <laughs> I Ejaculate it's probably, Fire. It's yeah. probably one of, the, one of the most beautiful songs I think I've ever, I've ever heard. <laughs> All right. Oh, it's your, it's my favorite part, Heather. there. It's that part where it takes a little bit for me to get to the point. Uh, oh, right. To turn the stream off. To turn and the then stream off. all of a sudden, off. out of nowhere, we just sort of, uh, you know, it just the stream just kind of just ends when nobody knows when. 
I don't know, probably. Aye, uh, that's me name. Do you realize this is kind of stupid? I don't want to do this. You can do your own jingle. I've got standards. I'm not doing it. No, it's not happening.